Hello and welcome to Matt's ICT Lab. Now today we'll be learning about the master slide through presentation software called PowerPoint. Now, to do that, we need to open this RTF file, rich text format file, in PowerPoint. Okay, and there's a few ways you can do that. You can right click and do open with PowerPoint or search if PowerPoint's not there, or you can open the software itself and select file, open, and open the file from there. Now, when we search for it, no items match, match our search. That's because we're searching for an RTF file and we've got it set to look for all PowerPoint presentations. So change this drop down box to all files and select PowerPoint. And there we go, open that and it's opened a very blank looking PowerPoint presentation, very bland looking PowerPoint presentation of five slides. Now, <clears throat> what the master slide does is we can open the master slide view, which we'll do in a second, and we can set a design or a style for our presentation. Okay, now if we go into designs, we can see there's a number of preset designs, but what we want to do is we want to choose our own design. So, let's do that now. So we'll go to View, we'll go to Slide Master, and it opens the master slide. Now what we need to do is we need to scroll right to the top and choose the primary master slide. That's the kind of larger one at the top of the, of the selection here. Now, we're going to set up our style, or our design on this slide. It's going to apply itself to all the other slides and we'll have it in our presentation, our, our bland looking presentation but from the RTF. So, again, view, slide master, scroll to the top, primary master slide. Now, before we set up our style, the first question says that it's going to be a PowerPoint presentation for delivery on a multimedia projector with a four to three aspect ratio. So we need to set it up our page for a four to three aspect ratio PowerPoint uh, multimedia uh, projector. So we go to page setup and set up our page by selecting four to three on screen show. Now mine's already set at four to three, so that's fine. If it wasn't, you would just select four to three, click OK, and it would change it for you there. Okay, now to set up the style. So if we look at task 19b, we can see it says create a master slide with a pale yellow background on the right hand side, about a quarter of the width, with one vertical dark blue stripe as a border for the yellow background and two horizontal dark blue stripes. Each stripe should be four points wide and it should look like the little diagram at the bottom of page 311. If you don't have the diagram in front of you, you'll see what it looks like when I make it. So. We're going to rearrange things a bit here. Okay, move this in so we leave room for our pale yellow rectangle down the side. Okay, now I'm not going to be too particular about where I put these just now because we're going to be moving them about later as well. So here we go. I'm going to go to insert and I'm going to insert a rectangle. Okay, about a quarter of the width of the page, which is about that, I would say. And it's blue, as you can see, and that's no good, so we need to make it a pale yellow uh, rectangle. So to edit it, or to format it, we select the shape, select Format, and then we've got our, our options here. So, shape file, we want it to be yellow now. A pale yellow, that's not pale yellow, that's bright yellow, like sun yellow, and that is orange. So I'm going to go to more fill colours, you can move the little selector up to yellow, it's pretty yellow looking up there, and I'm going to move the slider down here to get a pale yellow, that's pretty pale yellow. And OK that. So there we go, we've got a pale yellow rectangle. 
Now it's got a border on it, which I'm going to remove as well, as the question asks us to. So I'm going to select it and go to the shape outline because it's the outline of the shape we're editing. And I'm going to select no outline. And there we go. Now it asks us for one vertical dark blue stripe as the border of the yellow background. So I'm going to insert a line and I'm going to pull the line down the side of the yellow yellow rectangle and I'm going to hold shift to make sure that line stays sh straight. And there we go. I've got it selected so I can format it to be dark blue and to be a weighting of four points. Okay, now there's no four point option here. It's three or four and a half, which is strange. So we need to go to more lines and we need to set it at four points in width. And close that and there we go. We've got our dark blue border line. Now we need two more of these lines, so I'm going to insert a shape again, go through the same process, take a line, hold shift, drag the line across where I need it, go to format, make the shape outline dark blue, and then shape outline again, weight, and make the weight four again, still no four, so we go to more lines, and then we choose four, we just type four in there for the width. Okay, now we could go through the whole process again, but I'm just going to copy and paste it. So to copy it and paste it, and then drag this line down here because it's the exact same line. And here we go. So we've set up our style. What I would always urge you to do is to rearrange these. Now I'm going to move this down. And I'm going to move this down as well because the question later on the question asks us to um, to put something up in here. So we'll find that out later. So stay tuned. While I'm doing this, just remind you: be sure to subscribe and to like my videos. And if there's any video that you want to see in the future, send me a wee message, and I'll try and make that for you. So there we go, I'm going to leave the footers like the way they are just now because we're going to deal with them later. So there we go. I'm going to close the master view and have a look at our bland presentation from earlier. So close the master view and we're back to our presentation, which doesn't look as bland anymore. Okay, it's got this nice design on it which we put on in the master slide. Okay, so we're not quite finished yet though, so I'm going to go back into View, Slide Master, and I'm going to scroll up again. Don't forget to do that. Someone always does. Uh, don't be don't be that person. I even do it from time to time. So, let's see what the next part is. Next part is include the heading using PowerPoint left aligned in a dark blue 60 point serif font above the blue line at the top of the master slide. Okay, so there's the blue line at the top of the master slide. So in this section here, get rid of that. In this section here, we need to put a using PowerPoint. So we'll insert a text box and we'll put it there using. And ask us to format to be dark blue, 60 points in serif font. So dark blue from the font color section, 60 points in size, and a serif font. Now we'll know from our previous video styles that a serif font is a font with strokes. Okay, and this one doesn't have strokes. However, Times New Roman does, okay? And I tend to use Times New Roman for serif font and Arial for sans serif font. 
If you're unsure about uh, sans serif and serif fonts, please check out the video styles uh, on my channel, uh, an older video. Okay, that's that done now. Then it says, include an automated slide number in the bottom left of the footer. So here's our footer section down here. We need to create an automated slide number, and this is the slide number section here. But if we read on, it says enter your name center lined in the white area at the bottom of the master slide and use a 14 point serif font. If we read the rest of the question, it doesn't mention that we have to use the date, so I'm going to just get rid of that. We don't need to, but I think it makes things neater. So we need to put this slide number in the bottom left. Okay, move my move this about, hold control to get greater control about your, your movement of the box. And my footer box. So this is a slide number box, one with a hashtag in it. It's not it's not a, nothing to do with Twitter. Hashtag Max ICT Lab. And what I'm doing just now is I'm dragging this white box the entire size length of the white uh, section. The reason I'm doing that is because it's asked us to center line it in the white section and the only way to guarantee this is completely center lined is to drag the box the entire width and then press on the on the center lined alignment tool. Okay, so let's set up our footers. Number in the bottom left I'm going to left align that just to make sure it's extremely left. And I'm going to go to insert. And there's, you can see slide number here. But a better way to do it is to just go header and footer. And it brings up your header and footer box. Now we need a slide number, so we'll select that box there. And we need a footer, which is our name. So we apply that and that should have set them up. Now the second part of the question was we have to make this text here black 14 points and a serif font. So we just edit this the way we would edit any text in the home section black 14 points and a serif font and we're using Times New Roman to keep it consistent with our title. So that should be our footers set up. Right, I'm just gonna go back and have a look at our slideshow. So there we go, using PowerPoint, uh, that's our, our title at the top there, and we've got our name, and an automated slide number, let's just check that is automated, yep, at the bottom left of our slides. So it's starting to look pretty good now. But we're not quite finished yet. We've got one more thing to do. So I'm going to go back to view and I'm going to go back to slide master. And again, please remember, scroll to the top, we're editing the primary master slide. Right, the last part. Place a clipper image of a computer or peripheral in the right hand area. It's this area here. Crop and or resize the image so it fits within the yellow area and will not overlay the dark blue lines. So that's okay. Do not distort the image. Please remember never distort the image. If you've stretched or or squashed the image, you're doing something wrong. Okay, and we'll we'll look at that in just a minute. Make sure that the image fills more than 50% of the available space. Okay, so in... I need to get rid of that. In the master slide view, we need to insert clip art. So insert clip art. Okay, it brings up our clip art section. I've already got a computer typed in there. So I press go. And let's see what it brings up. Let's choose one that kind of goes with the style of our presentation. This kind of goes with the style. 
I think. Yep. Good. Let's keep this. Right now, it has to take up 50%. Right, and that's not quite 50% just yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize this image. I'm going to make it a lot larger. Now, if I was to take this and just drag it up, there you go, it does take up more than 50%, but again, we've just started the image, which we've said we'll never do. So I'm going to undo that, and I'm going to do it a different way. I'm going to resize the image, and I'm going to make it a good bit larger than it is, and then crop out the bits that we don't need. So to resize the image, please always right-click, size and position, or you could use this down here, but size and position, and then we can choose a different size for it. Okay, now we've got a, our aspect ratio locked, so that means when we change the height, the width is also going to change as well. So we've got 1.99 inches at the moment. Let's say if we make it 3 inches, let's see if that's maybe... Okay. Right, that seems about fine. And that is taking up about 50%. Okay, take about 50%, but it is a wee... Mm, five. You know, I'm going to try... 3.3 inches. There we go. That should be better. So, it does take up more than 50%, so get that right, but it does overlap this blue line, uh, blue line border. So we're going to crop it. And to do that, it's actually very simple. We select the crop icon here, crop, and it puts these little handles on it, and we just move these handles however we like to cut off whatever we want. Very straightforward. Okay, so I'm going to cut off. Let's see, can we cut that off without it looking silly? I think we can. Just crop it there, and we'll pull this in a wee bit there. Still, yeah, it's still fifty percent good. Okay, so we have our computer, our peripheral, without a mouse or a keyboard, um, and that's taken up fifty percent of the yellow area, and it's been cropped and resized, but it's not been distorted. Okay. Before we go, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rearrange this slide slightly. Now, in IGCSE, ICT, the only two slides you need to concern yourself with in the master slide are the top slide, the primary master slide that is, this one here that we've been working on, and the second one. Now, in the second one, all you need to concern yourself with is the, is the text box here. Don't design your primary master slide. Don't design your master slide on it just you're just arranging the text box here okay and it's the primary master slide we do most of our work on so we go i'm going to close this and go back to our normal view back to normal view our presentation is starting to look pretty good now okay so that is the master slide igcse ict tutorial please check out powerpoint part two where we'll look at uh, some more master slide features, but mostly we'll be looking at just general PowerPoint features, inserting new slides and editing them, maybe do a bit of animation, some maybe some transitions, and we might do a part three if we need to, which will look at presenter notes and printing options. Okay, hope you enjoyed it, hope you find it useful. If you do, be sure to like it, be sure to subscribe, and leave a wee comment if you have any any comments to make. Okay. Thank you.